Hello ladies and gentlemen and coders of all ages. My name is John and in this video I'm going to be talking headless CMS. Now if you're currently trying to plan a website project and you're trying to decide which headless CMS is the best fit for your project then this is the video for you. Now in 2021, I don't know about you, but headless CMS seems to be all the rage and all the clients I work for are asking for it. Now, if you go over to the germstack.org website, they will give you a list of all the different headless CMSs on the market. And if you go over there, look at that list, there's about 50 to 80 different CMSs. So this begs the question, which one is right for your project? Now, obviously all these different CMSs are suited for different purposes, depending on your budget, depending on your level of do you like SaaS? Do you like self-hosting? All that sort of stuff will determine which headless CMS is right for you. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to give you five different CMSs, which are going to be split up into different categories. So I'm going to talk about a good all-rounder that can be used on any projects. I'm going to talk about enterprise. So if you've got loads and loads of money, if you want to self-host, I'm going to give you an option. I'm going to talk about one CMS, which is just great for content editing and give you a really nice experience. And then I'm also going to talk about a Git based CMS. So these are really simple CMSs where you don't need to think about hosting or actually installing any extra software for the CMS. It's just going to live within your source code. So we're going to go through five of these CMSs and by the end of it, you're going to know which one is right for you. Now you might be sat there wondering, What's this guy know? How do you know about all these different CMSs? Well, basically at the start of the year, I work in an agency and our clients constantly kept asking us for headless CMSs. So what we did is me and a team of about 10 people, we went through all the Jamstack websites, looked at all these different headless CMSs, did a load of research, gave presentations back to each other. And this is basically the outcome of some of those sessions. So this has taken a lot of research. It's not just me, it's taken a lot of people. So if this sounds good to you, then carry on watching because I'm going to give you some great tips and great advice. Now, obviously this is YouTube, so it'd be amiss of me not to say smash that subscribe button. If you want to see weekly YouTube videos on web development, development tips in general, or productivity tips, then obviously hit subscribe because it's very easy to lose YouTube videos. So subscribe now. So assuming you've done that, let's look at my first pick and this is an all rounder. I think that the best headless all round CMS that you should consider is Contentful. Now, one of the reasons why I really like Contentful is because you can use it for clients with no money, or you can use it for clients that have got millions of users and millions of unlimited budgets, and you can easily scale their plan. Now, Contentful is a SaaS based CMS. This means that you don't need to worry about hosting the software yourself. So you don't need to worry about getting your own servers, patching those servers, installing the software, installing the databases, patching the databases, upgrading the CMS itself. All you need to do is head over to contentful.com, as you can see on the screen in front of us, create an account and Contentful will do everything. So through their portal online, you can start adding your content from these, um, from the CMS, you'll get access to their API layer and through the API, you can then access your content from your application. Now, some clients obviously won't like SaaS based content. They want to have all their content in their own data centers. However, for most people, they won't care about it and they're very happy with the pricing plan. So let's have a look at the pricing quickly. Now, as you can see, there's three different tiers. Now, if you're in the community tier, you didn't have to pay for anything. It's absolutely free. And a lot of clients that I've worked with can get away with using community. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of when you're thinking about Contentful is that the jump to the team edition is $500 a month. So by the time you have that and some hosting, you're talking about seven grand a year. Now, obviously this isn't the cheapest option in the world. So this is why you need to be really crystal, crystal clear about what type of website you're building and what type of features that you really need. Now, some of the things which will change the pricing tier are gonna be stuff like the number of environments, the number of user roles and editors, the number of spaces, the number of items you need to create. So just go head over to the Contentful pricing page and have a look. And this is one of the main things I recommend that you check out before considering Contentful. Now, I think one of the things that Con Contentful does better than any other CMS is have a really great marketplace. Now, as you can see from the marketplace, you have access to things like Cloudinary, Commerce Tools, Shopify, you have Google Analytics, you have access to GraphQL, Jira, Netlify, Optimizely, Repeater, Phrase, Salesforce. 
So one of the great things is when you're using Contentful, instead of having to come up with your own integrations or rewrite a lot of code yourself, what you can do is simply use a free CMS, install some free plugins, and you get access to say your Shopify products within the CMS. So this is really great. Now the CMS itself is also pretty look, good looking. I think out of all the CMSs, it's one of my favorites. As you can see, the design in front of us is very sleek, very minimal. One of the great things I like about Contentful is it's very easy to set up different environments. So if you're working in teams, you might want a development, a staging and a production environment. So with Contentful, super simple to set this up. It's all click of the buttons. Now, as you'd expect with any CMS, you can build your content models. You can add content yourself and it's got all the usual content editing stuff like rich text blocks. You can also upload your own images and add media. And you can also do general things like setting up roles, new users, and setting up web hooks. And this is one of the reasons why I really like Contentful because there's loads and loads of features. The marketplace is really good. And if you can get away with using the free pricing tier, it's not gonna cost you any money. And this is why I think Contentful is the number one best all rounder because even if you need to go to enterprise, as you can see from this custom, and as you know, whenever a website doesn't tell you the exact price and says contact us, we're talking about many thousands of pounds per month. However, if you're like an Ikea or you know, like an Argus or like one of these big companies that has millions of users, you're gonna be able to go on an enterprise plan from the free tier if you really need to. So you're gonna have every single base covered. My second recommendation is called Strappy. Now, Strappy is a CMS for people who hate SaaS. Now, obviously, SaaS isn't for everyone, and not all clients and developers like SaaS tools. So some of the issues with SaaS is obviously you're going to have a monthly bill. You don't actually own the software yourself, so you're going to have to pay a bill forever. Now, another issue with uh, companies like banks or like stockbrokers have with SaaS is that they don't own their data. So with Contentful, you might log in, a content editor is gonna add in their content, the data is gonna be stored in a database. However, that database is gonna be looked after by the vendor. So you don't have access to it, you can't restore a database, and if that vendor got compromised, your data got deleted, that would be it. You wouldn't have a backup, you'd be pretty screwed. So this is why a lot of people just like open source and self-hosted CMSs. Now, strangely, when it comes to self-hosted headless CMSs, there isn't actually loads and loads. There's only about 10 or 12 different options, and WordPress is one of those. But out of those different options, I think Strappy is hands down the best option for you out there. Definitely recommend it. Now, as I was saying, Strappy is the open source, so you can head over to their GitHub. You can look at all their code. You can help contribute, make pull requests if you find any bugs. Now, the pricing for Strappy is free, so you're not gonna have the monthly worry that you have with a SaaS bill. And as you can see here, it comes with, you know, REST and Graph API layers. It's got, you know, content management, unlimited locales, which is good for some people, and it's good community support. Now, looking at the CMS itself, I think Strappy, again, is a pretty good looking modern CMS. You've got all the normal things, but like content modeling, so you can go in there, create different page types, you can go in, access you know, your metadata, you can add in images, you can add, delete stuff, all the usual stuff you'd expect from a CMS itself. Again, it comes with unlimited locales, so you can create multiple languages. So this would be good for some people. Now it does come with its own marketplace and plugins. However, the options within the Strappy plugin is just not at the same level as content form. So you're not gonna have things like Shopify integration, commerce tool integration. You've got some basic things like, you know, GraphQL or maybe, you know, email or that sort of stuff. So even though they do have some plugins, it's not the same level as you get with Contentful. However, if you're looking for a really easy CMS to use, which is free, self-hosted, comes with all the GraphQL and REST APIs so you can create your headless experience, then I definitely recommend you should check out Strapit. My third recommendation is for clients in the enterprise space. So clients with the mega money and they don't worry about paying a little bit more for their hosting because they need something which works and that will guarantee to stay up and run smoothly. And this recommendation is called Content Stack. So Content Stack's focus is on enterprise. So if you're thinking, you know, 
portfolio website, small brochureware website for a small you know business, this isn't the CMS for you. However, if you're thinking you know a big Walmart, a big IKEA, McDonald's, those sort of organization, global brands, then Content Stack is a great choice for you. So Content Stack isn't cheap. It comes with an enterprise level hosting. Now, in general, enterprise level hosting is about 100 grand per year. I know from a few chats that the pricing for Content Stack does start from about 7K, something like that. You do need to speak to obviously an account person there to give you the proper pricing and they don't tell you the pricing on the website. However, think around that kind of budget. So obviously not for people which don't have that much money. So if you're a big online retailer, a big you know high street store, this might be the CMS for you. So you might be wondering, what do you get for that money? Obviously Contentful can be free. So what do you get for this extra enterprise level price? Well, obviously SLA is key. So if you're a big McDonald's or you know one of those big companies, you need to make sure that your website is up, doesn't fall over, and you need a guaranteed SLA that your website is gonna be up for 99.99% of the time. And this is something that Content Stack focuses on. So they pride themselves that their platform never goes down and it's, you know, it's all wonderful and it all works. Now, another thing which Content Stack gives you is obviously support. If you're enterprise level, you can't just have a CMS where you know you can't really get access to anyone. So with your enterprise level pricing, you get access to developers, the support team, and everyone that I spoke to at Content Stack have got back to me really quickly. Everyone's been really knowledgeable and very handy. The other thing that I really like and what really impressed me about Content Stack is their dedication to the marketplace. Now, obviously, as a developer and someone who has designed enterprise level projects, building everything from scratch takes time and it costs money. Now, Content Stack actually has a dedicated development team that's always updated marketplace with integrations to products that they think are key and that the, they listen to their clients and they add integrations that they'll help their clients. So as you can see here, we've got integrations with things like commerce tools, content stack. Um, they've got stuff like dynamic yield. I don't think I've ever seen another CMS with a dynamic yield integration. They've got access to, you know, Salesforce, Marketo. So you have your CRM integration. So pretty much if you think, you know, of a big enterprise level tool, you probably have an integration in the marketplace here. Now, unfortunately, my demo license for Content Stack ran out. However, if you are in a big enterprise level organization, come over to the stand Content Stack website, click request demo. One of the sales guys will give you a presentation to give you access to the CMS so you can get going yourself. Again, it is a really good looking CMS. It's got a really nice, modern, clean and sleek UI. It's got all a great marketplace. You can do everything that you expect to do within a normal CMS, multi-language, rich text editing, content modeling, all of that beautiful stuff. So if someone had to ask me, you know, what platform are you going to pick for enterprise, which is SaaS, this is probably the number one pick that I would go for every single time. So I recommend that you check it out. My next recommendation is called Storyblock. And I think Storyblock wins in the category of best content editing experience. So Storyblock probably isn't an enterprise level CMS. It's more targeted towards small to medium sized websites. So your portfolio websites, your brochureware websites. It doesn't have the same marketplace integration that works with e-commerce stores. However, it does have inline editing experience, which I'll show you shortly. Now, one of the nice things about Storyblock is it's not going to break the bank. It comes with a free plan, which many clients will get away with. However, if you want to go for the whole bells and whistles approach, then you can go for the premium plan, which is £20 a month or 240 quid a year. So this isn't going to break the bank. It's SaaS. So all you need to do is log in. You can get your nice demo space. So the really good thing about Storyblock is it's one of the only SaaS headless CMSs which gives you the content inline editing experience. So as you can see on the screen right in front of me, I've got my CMS and you can see that if I make some content amends, it's automatically updated in the CMS. So I can see what my content looks like as I'm editing it. And this is actually a really big thing for some content editors. 
Now, if you're in Contentful, for example, and you're trying to create some content, you'll have to open up the CMS, write some content, and then switch to a preview environment to see what that content looks like. Now, a lot of editors don't like this workflow because when they're trying to write their beautifully crafted creative prose, switching between two different tabs sometimes throws them off and it can be a bit annoying. However, this is where Storyblock comes into its own. Because of this really cool block-based architecture and because it does have inline editing, content editors come in here, they can build up pages with these dynamic layouts, they can add in content and they can see exactly how the page is going to look within the CMS itself without having to jump anywhere else. So for a really good price point and a really nice feature of the inline editing, I think Storyblock is definitely something you should consider if you're not wanting to go into Contentful or if you're in that premium pricing range in Contentful and you can't afford the 700 pounds per year, maybe a 240 pound budget is a bit better for your client. So if you're finding yourself in that camp, then check out the Story Block. My final recommendation is Netlify CMS. Now the differentiator in the Netlify CMS is that this is a Git powered CMS only. So this means is that you don't need any servers to host any applications. You don't need a database because everything will be installed within your source control. So this is a great option for people who don't want to host anything, don't need to worry about databases. What will happen is that when a content editor logs into the CMS, makes content amend a Git pull request will be created and all the content amends will be actually added into a file and then added directly into source control. And this is basically how all the version management and all the editing is done. So getting started with Netlify CMS is super simple. All you need to do is head over to the netlifycms.org. There's a big get started button. Just click on that. Now, when you get started, you'll have these options of creating a site using Hugo, Gatsby, Next.js, React, whatever you want to go for. So let's say we're going to go for the next JS one. Now, assuming you just have a valid Netlify account and a GitHub account, all you need to do is click on this button and then all the files will be copied over to your GitHub account. And then the site will be published automatically in the Netlify. Now, looking in my GitHub quickly, this is the site that's being created. Now, as you can see, we have content slash posts right here. So clicking in here, you can see that we have all of our files. So every single time that we go into the CMS and start creating a page, a new file is going to be created here. Now the CMS itself is fairly simple. Here's an example of one of the sample sites. I think this is the Gatsby one. So as you can see, the sample sites they give you to get started with are all very simple. However, it's going to give you the basic mechanics of getting everything up and running. Now, as I was saying, the CMS itself is very simple. You don't have any of the marketplace integration. You basically have a very simple way of updating some content. Again, you have like the inline editing that you have from Storyblock. However, this is nowhere near as feature rich as Storyblock is. You have an option of doing some markdown of rich text. So basically, if you're wanting to create a portfolio website or a very small brochureware website, you can't be bothered with any of the hosting costs or the idea about SaaS, and you just want something which is really easy to add some content, have a rich text editor which you can update some content really quickly, then this is the CMS that I recommend. You can get started and up and running with a CMS within about 30 seconds. There's no hosting fees. You're in control of everything. So if you're looking to create a basic website, then this could be a great option for you. Those are the five headless CMSs that I recommend that you check out in 2021. So what do you think? Do you like these CMSs that I've suggested? Are you using anything different? Do you think I missed anything out? As always, please let me know in the comments below because I'm always super interested to hear what people are using. Now, it's also got to that stage where I should probably plug some of my stuff. So if you want to be an absolute legend, and this is the easiest way that I'm going to think of you as a legend today, hit that subscribe button. It won't cost you any money, and it will mean that you'll carry on getting these videos. So do that right now. Otherwise, I do a free weekly newsletter every Sunday. The link for that is below. So if you want to get some updates on industry news, just click on that. There's no spam. Pinky promise. Also, if you like this video and you want to do me a massive solid, please hit that like button because that will trick YouTube into sharing my videos to more people, helps with the algorithm. So I'd be very grateful if you do that. Otherwise, I hope you found some value in this video. Hope you're having an amazing day wherever you are. 
and happy coding.